say hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> What's your name? Bevy. Bevy. <laughs> Olivia, that's right. What are we gonna make right here? What are we gonna make? Juice. Juice. Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to our channel. So I have some big exciting news for you guys. The plant-based bundle is here. And if you're not familiar with the plant-based bundle, essentially you're getting over 150 ebooks, courses, guides, and other amazing brand new content for only $50. It's over a $4,000 value. Even if you were only interested in two or three of the ebooks, it would still be an amazing offer. You might be thinking, this sounds too good to be true, but I promise you it's not. It's a one-time payment of $50, and you get access to all of the content for life, from beginner guides, kid-friendly and family-friendly recipes, delicious gourmet, raw vegan foods and cooked vegan foods. There's even fitness content included. Much of the content in the plant-based bundle has never been seen before. It is brand new and fresh just for you guys. And the most exciting part is we are also doing a giveaway. So anyone who purchases the bundle through our specific link in the description of this video will automatically be entered to win their choice a Vitamix blender or a Nama J2 juicer are two favorites. The only catch is that you can only get this amazing offer through July 10th, so be sure to buy the bundle before then. So today is Sunday and I am feeling extremely driven and motivated and I've got the free time so I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prep for tomorrow. It is summertime so there is an abundance of fresh, colorful, life-giving foods. You're like me and you're feeling like tomorrow I'll start A, B, or C. In order to hold yourself to it and to help yourself out, I recommend prepping ahead of time. So what I'm about to do is juice a big green juice and I just put a watermelon in the refrigerator. I might even chop some fresh fruits just to have as much ready, especially for the beginning of the day so I can hit the ground running tomorrow morning. So let's get going on the juice. I'm gonna do some celery and cucumber, which are the two most water dense green vegetables. So if you're wanting to do a high volume of green juice, having a lot of those in there can really be beneficial. I'll also add in some either parsley or cilantro typically and then I'll do a green apple or two and a handful of pineapple to bump up the calories a little bit since I am doing fully raw rather than just straight green juice. I'm also gonna do some kale, some collard greens. I think I might also add some fennel. So the thing about fennel is that it's extremely good for digestion. It has kind of a sweet taste that it will add to the juice as well. You guys have probably heard me talk about our Nama J2 juicer. It's amazing because it has this self-feeding hopper on the top. So literally, I just break things into very large chunks and drop them in, close it, and walk away. I chop it about that size just so I can get more into the hopper all at once. Vivi, do you want to put some cucumbers in? Here you go. You put them in up here? Thank you. You drop this in. Put that in. And we're going to do apple and pineapple. So I'm just going to store all of the straight green juice I just made in this jar for tomorrow. I'm going to store the apple and pineapple in a separate jar and then just mix so the kids can have some of the apple, pineapple, and green, and I can make it to their liking, and I can make mine to my liking. The main thing with prepping your juice for the next day is making sure it's airtight and the liquid is to the top, so you're gonna get minimal oxidation. I might even skim off the bubbles. Sip on. Mm, yum, that is so good. I'm gonna add in some carrots I found in the fridge. A little bit of a golden color to this pineapple, apple, carrot juice. In order to truly optimize your gut health and digestion, it can help to follow a flow from most digestible foods to least digestible. So starting your day with fresh filtered water, then fresh juices and smoothies, then whole solid raw foods like fruits and leafy greens and vegetables and saving your cooked vegetables and foods for the end of the day or later in the afternoon. Okay, remember how he taught us to pick them? Snap it away from you. There you go. Now show dad. Snap it. Now, Bibby, do you want to pick this one? Mm -hmm. Snap oh. it. <laughs> 
There. Good Show dad. Job. This is a very momentous occasion. These should be ready to eat in the next few days, but probably not quite yet. They're pretty firm, but they were definitely ready to pick. I cannot believe we grew our own mangoes. Okay, so I'm also I'm also going to be prepping some fruit. We've literally got one of everything right now. We've got green grapes, organic cherries, all the berries, these really good kiwis. They're like a less fuzzy variety and they're a little bit lighter green and they're so good. And then probably slice some of these ripe bananas into the mix. We've also got some little baby mangoes. Since ours aren't ripe, add these in, whoops. And yellow pitaya. Yellow pitaya is a for sure favorite. So we've even got cuties. It's just gonna be an abundance and that's what it takes to stay fueled if you're eating raw vegan. You need to eat lots of fruits. It's either gonna be high fat or high carb. And if you eat high fat, your digestion's gonna be sluggish. You're gonna feel a little bit more slow and lethargic. So you don't wanna be afraid of fat if you're eating raw, but you don't wanna overdo it either. Like a lot of raw vegan restaurants sound really nice, but then you'll sit down and they'll give you a salad that's got a huge creamy salad dressing on it, plus nuts, plus seeds, plus avocados, plus olive oil. And at the end of it, it's like, wow, that was probably a thousand calories in just fats alone. So we're gonna eat high carb, lots of fruits, also some fresh veggies to kind of balance out the sugar. So celery and carrots will be on the agenda. Basically, I'm gonna start my morning fueling up with a green juice with a little bit of that sweet pineapple carrot apple juice mixed in, doing a ginger shot too, which is great for fighting inflammation. It's good for digestion. It just gets things rearing and ready. I'm also gonna try and make some dehydrated pulp crackers. So I really love Brad's veggie chips. They are totally raw. They're so good, but they're expensive. So I'm gonna try and make my own since I have a wealth of pulp from the greens and all the other goodies. I think I can do it. My plan is to do a late afternoon smoothie bowl, nice cream bowl with lots of goodies on top. And then dinner will be a big salad. And I just got some kelp noodles organic kelp noodles on Amazon. Our friends brought some to our little beach picnic the other day with this super good like peanut dressing. So I might do something like that. I don't know what kind of dressing I'll do, but I'm gonna make a big rainbow salad and add the kelp noodles in just to try something different. Probably have some of these today too. Give everything a good rinse. You can definitely eat the kiwi skin if you're trying to get used to it. I recommend these less hairy types. So I always leave the skins on. The kids like it too. It's full of nutrition. So with mango, there's this large seed in the middle. So you want to slice each of the cheeks on each side. Sometimes you cut into it even when you try not to. Even with these, you can still save a little bit more by peeling off the edges. Shave those off. Amazing. Mm. These are always, always so good. So pink pitaya, the ones that are pink on the outside, and white inside, and also the ones that are pink on the outside and pink inside are all very bland in flavor, but these are different. They're like a burst of sweetness. They're so good. Definitely get the yellow variety if you ever have a chance. So all of this goodness marinating together is gonna be so sweet and so good tomorrow. A lot of people are worried about consuming too much fruit because it's too much sugar but there is a very, very big difference between refined sugars and unrefined sugars. So these are unrefined. They come totally packaged with fiber and other micronutrients and vitamins and minerals that react in the body a totally different way. Cool thing about fruit is that your body will tell you like when you've had enough. So it's really hard to overeat on fruit compared to refined sugars like baked goods, like donuts and cupcakes and birthday cake. Whenever you've ever had just like one slice of cake and felt like that was enough. <laughs> it's tough, it's a lot more difficult. With fruit, your body just knows. This won't spike your blood sugar as much as refined sugars do. 
and you would be surprised you know you you get more than just sugar you get vitamins minerals antioxidants fiber you're also getting an immense amount of hydration so fruit is nature's perfect filter it's the perfect water filter all right we've got our blackberries and blueberries into the mix this is so good mm. best thing about fruit prep is snacking mm. so good so you guys have probably seen these. These are what the uh, Brad's veggie chips look like. So they have carrot, kale, flaxseed, buckwheat, groats, orange juice, onion, apple, lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, which I will omit, garlic, Himalayan sea salt, and sesame seed. I got my food processor. I'm gonna add in all of, ooh, I forgot about the ginger. So I'm not gonna do the ginger, obviously, but I'm gonna do the greens with the, sweet stuff. So now I'm just gonna add flavor. First I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of flax seeds. This is gonna be like a ton of omega-3s. We're gonna do salt, pepper, garlic and onion powder, and call it good. Which one's this? A little bit more onion than garlic. Okay, you guys, let's see what happens. It's probably gonna take some scraping. We're getting there. Next time I would have probably grinded up the flax ahead of time. I don't know if they're gonna stick together, but it tastes really good. I'm gonna spread it onto my dehydrator trays and pop it in the dehydrator, dehydrator at maybe about one 115 for a few hours and at least and see how it's going. We're just gonna spread it out really evenly and then score it into little crackers. We're gonna have to go like super thin. I might need to get out like a rolling pin. The last thing that I'm prepping today for my day tomorrow of raw vegan success is a sunflower seed dip slash dressing. So I, I'm soaking these sunflower seeds. I wanted something to bring to the beach basically to dip celery and carrot sticks in other than hummus. So I'm doing the half cup of these raw soaked sunflower seeds. Soaking, they've only been soaking about a half hour half of a red bell pepper, a lemon, a couple tomatoes, and then salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, and this is non-fortified nutritional yeast. I'll use about probably a tablespoon of it. So non-fortified means it doesn't contain folic acid, which is synthetic folate, which has been linked to all kinds of problems. I'll link below the type that I use from Amazon. It's really good, really high in iron, protein, and tons of B vitamins naturally, and it does not contain MSG. This is non-fortified. It's a super clean brand. So I'm gonna drain and rinse these, put all the ingredi ingredients in the mini blender cup, and then I'm gonna blend it until I get the right consistency. I don't want it too runny, and I also don't want it too thick and sticky. Somewhere right in between would be just delightful. Our tomatoes, peppers, squeeze the lemon. The thing I love about raw foods and like dressings, dips, sauces, smoothies, anything that you blend or even juice I guess is very intuitive. There is really no like set in stone like recipes that you have to follow. You can just kind of pick and choose and do everything to taste and to consistency and texture. And like I said, it's really intuitive. Like what are you feeling called to? Sunflower seeds sounded like a good alternative to cashews today and I wanted it to be pretty and appetizing so adding some reds in there really called to me. The mooch in there. I'll give it a nice cheesy flare. And onion. And 
garlic powder. So it is a little bit runnier than I wanted it to be, but it's definitely gonna thicken up in the refrigerator overnight. And it should be nice and good for dipping. And also putting on a salad. It's so good, mm, really good. All right, you guys, so that's a wrap on my uncut, fully raw vegan meal prep for the day. The rest of the afternoon was spent in the pool, getting some sunshine, and we all did a little cold plunge in our DIY cold plunge pool. If you guys haven't already checked out that video, definitely check it out. There are so many benefits from boosting your dopamine and serotonin, increasing your energy levels and metabolism and fat burn, and also mental strength. So that's probably the biggest reason why I love challenging myself to a cold plunge. So if you guys want to check out the video that I posted with my fully raw vegan day of eating to see how all of this meal prep went down and how easy and effortless it was for me to enjoy our next day out at the beach, definitely go check that video out. It's linked below in the description. And all of these fully raw vegan recipes have been uploaded into our Eat, Move, Rest meal planner and recipe app. Last but not least, do not forget to grab the plant-based bundle while it's available. You'll be getting 150 plus ebooks, courses, guides, and other content for only $50. It's over a $4,000 value. Even if you only find two to three pieces of content that really speak to you, you're still getting an incredible deal. Many of these influencers, nutritionists, dietitians, sports trainers, athletes have never been in this bundle before. So be sure to grab it. The offer ends July 10th. But the thing that helps our channel out the most is when you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and leave us some love in the comments below so we can get to know you guys. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 